Okay, so we're gonna watch all your TV appearances. Okay, I love this. Yeah, this I thought you'd like it. I hope you like this episode. This one feels kind of bad. Well, there's not as much prep. I mean, the stream, okay. the steamies happen here. We're just kind of trying to do an episode. I mean, what you want to talk about something else? No, I love watching my friendlies but... is under attack. What don't you understand about that? <laughs> we didn't go very hard for anybody. We're just like, okay. Hi, Shredder. All right, you were on Ellen. What do you do? I read. Okay. <laughs> Did so any? Uh, did any? Cringy, actually. I hate. I, I, like, if anyone can tell you, like, I hate watching myself on TV, especially this era of trash. I'm so cringy. Did any Ellen producer try to grope you or anything? <laughs> no, no, they were all gay. Oh, they were. Ellen is a bitch. Really? Yeah. I could tell. She's, but when all that stuff started coming out, I was like, that makes sense because she was so awful like literally really? would not talk they tell her don't look in her eye and then I would, they told you that yeah they're like don't look in her eyes that. don't touch her so in this clip i say oh i'm not supposed to touch you because i go like this and i'm like oh i'm not supposed to touch you like you hear me saying it because before they're like don't oh and they think her. you're a weirdo but they're the weirdo yeah they're like if you touch her you'll be escorted off like mid-show we don't care i was like okay and then i touched her on that like, what oh, a no. diva. You're just Ellen. You're just a TV host. You're not the fucking queen. I know. I was so nervous. Wait, I, I didn't. Okay, this. See, this is great. I'm glad we're doing this. <laughs> I read kind of fast, you know? Like, yeah. Oh, you read. That's your. your I read. Don't like, people yeah, hug like, her and stuff? Like, up there? Oh, Maybe I, like I, audience I members. Uh huh. Okay. We were pre picked. Okay. All right. <laughs> Call you. <laughs> You're so happy, aren't you? You're so pretty. It's uh, like looking at a mirror. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, cringy. <laughs> You're like looking in a mirror. Did you rehearse that line? Um, no. You know, whenever I go on these shows, especially when I was younger, this is what I'm talking about, the blackout. I don't remember anything. Like when mm. people ask me how, like I don't remember saying any of this. It's, that's why it's cringy to watch. Like even like America's Got Talent, like, all that stuff is so cringy. You're so watch. young. I thought I thought yeah. you're doing really well though. It's like 22. It's funny. Well, th th they found me on YouTube, so like this, they act like they picked you from the audience, but you're you're not. They just like, uh, contact you from YouTube. We did you get, touch her, or it didn't happen yet? It's right here. See, I'm touching her right okay, now. Okay, let's see. You're fantastic. All right. I should um, touch you. you said I shouldn't touch really you. Fast. Yeah, I need a book or something. Okay. I, I have a. I have. Ew, oh, this is so cringe. Right there. Okay, you can read my book. All right. Should I should I hold this for you? Um. Oh, your mic. Okay, great. All right. Okay. Ew. Stepping on a spider has to be the scariest thing in the world. Actually, you know what would be scarier if after putting on the one shot, I recklessly put my foot in the other one and discovered that I was teaming with hundreds of spiders. All the babies were in there. A whole let's see. It's a cat, goose key, school of fish. What is a group of spiders called? Oh, no, I remember a whole stock of spiders. That would be the scariest thing ever. I'll tell you, you're camping out in the woods or not even camping or even in the woods. You're sleeping in your bed. This is so I weird. Know, you like the great outdoors. We're going to run clapping for me. <laughs> you go, go. Read. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> This is so weird. But you are, you're, so you're, you're such a comedian with your timing and everything. You think? Yeah, you go, this is the scary part. And then oh, okay. you speed Thank up you. again. Um, it's super cringe. I don't know. Like, this was back in, like, this was before, like, Instagram. This was, like, 2009, like, nine, so maybe when Instagram first started. And, like, I just wanted to be famous, you know? Now it's so easy with, like, TikTok and all that stuff to go viral. But, like, mm. I just wanted to be, like, I, my thought was if I go on all these shows, someone will discover me. Like, I thought Ellen was going to discover me and I was going to be, like, a co-host of hers. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, that was my Yeah, she's process. like, don't look at her. Don't <laughs> touch her. We're going to be co-hosts someday. <laughs> I, well, that's your theory. Like, even America's Got Talent, I thought, oh, like, Howard Stern's going to love me. He's going to ask me to be on the show as a I mean, it's picture. pretty epic that you were on all these. Yeah, I tried, you know. So how did you get on the show? YouTube. They just found, I had a, oh, I they had reached a speed out to rating. Oh, hmm. all the shows did. America's Got Talent reached out to me, like, Guinness. Like, they all worked out. Hmm. Is it Guinness? Yeah, Guinness World Record. This is my thing out of the way. It's not possible to get any scarier than that. Wow! And they slow it down too, so you can like hear that I said I messed up once. Oh. Names and pseudonyms. Forty-five seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> what is this? This is trivia. David Arquette. Oh, no. Wait, isn't oh, this? This um, looks recent. No, it was like four years ago. Uh, Bruce Lee. Yeah, no, um, oh, uh, she has a talk show host, Big Black Lady. You're just Ooh. a contestant, huh? You're just a contestant? Yeah, me and my mom. So it was like a celebrity name game. So it was like you had to go on with a partner, and so me and my mom. You're had the celebrity. No, David Arquette's a celebrity. Oh, well, why are you there? <laughs> so you get paired with a celebrity, and it's all pop culture, which we killed this. We won. We beat the other team. Um, I'm really good. So, like, pop culture, and Craig Ferguson was the host. It was a fun show. You got Dude, real David money. Arquette, I got to tell, I think you're, Dave, David Arquette. Maybe man. back then he was more relevant. You're more famous than David Arquette. Oh, you should be, you. you should be on your panel. You should have said that. David Arquette was 
never that nice to me. I've met him a, new, a couple times and he never really he never yeah. liked me. Seems like there's a common thread that all these people are not nice to you. Are they really not nice to you? David Arquette more had no, because some people are really nice. Quentin mm. Tarantino's nice. Eminem's really nice. Like there's people who are like overtly nice. Um, David Arquette seemed annoyed with me every time I met him, like a few times. Mm. Yeah. Fuck him. Calling him out right now. We can have. Well, no. David Arquette, <laughs> if you're watching and listening. <laughs> We're calling you out. Courtney Cox is very cold. She's definitely one like, don't touch me. But so she's also playing with us. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh, um, he was in the dragon, the yellow suit. Uh, Did you win money or something? Yeah. Um, How much you oh, get? Uh, 8,000. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, for one for no, she's not a princess, but a queen like Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, um, she was a blonde bombshell in the 50s. She's. Uh, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're really good at this. Oh, Thanks. He sings the grenade song, the little one, the little grenade song. Oh, I little thought boy, he is John. little. No, um, He's sm- <laughs> you're like the little one. Bruno Mars. Yes. Okay. Um, okay. Oh. Basketball player, really tall. He was like an actor too. Yes. He was Damn. Like, He's awesome. Oh, gothic, gothic. All the face paint. I love him. Dude, Maryland. you are he- oh, um, freaking good okay. at this. Thanks. I don't even know who that is. Oh. Yeah, I didn't either. Or that. I'm laughing on these shows. It's like David Dobrik vlogs. It's so fun to watch you play as well. What the fuck? Like Hashtag me too. Why is he commenting on watching me play? Really? Like he's being nice. Come on. <laughs> no, he said he's fun to watch you play. Because you're so energetic. Oh, okay, I took it out. I don't, I don't think. He wanted a fuck. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I don't think that's what he meant. And I thought in that show too, I thought, oh, Craig Ferguson will probably have me on as a guest. My dream in life was to always be like a talk show guest. You know, I used to like pretend. Did you ever do that? I feel like a lot of people did. A talk you, show guest. Yeah, like where you're interviewed by like uh, like Jay Leno. When oh, I like you sit in. You're the interviewer. You're like, oh, thanks yeah. so much for having no, me. I, this is really great. I actually don't. Actually, you I, never fantasize that. No, and and I really never want to go on a show like that because it's just so nerve wracking. I hate it. Really? Oh, I yeah, love I don't it. like it because you're sitting there and you have to be funny, and then everybody's watching you and everyone's, you know what I mean? And it's like short. Yeah. I think I would have liked it in like the 90s when like you could be like sexually harassed by David Letterman. Like I right. loved those He's interviews. like, come here, girl. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me, yeah. Let me, yeah it's <laughs> but now crazy. you can't do that. Those, those are, here, come here, girl. Let me slap your titties. <laughs> no, they totally did. Remember Johnny Carson did that with Dolly Parton? He like squeezed her tits. <laughs> he, really? Yeah, he's like, can I feel them? <laughs> Here, can I, I punch like, you in the tits? Or Pamela Anderson, too. She got sexually harassed a lot by, like, Jay Leno and David Letterman. They were always saying, like, about her, like, sucking dick. And I was like, oh, that's what? cool. Yeah. Hey, the fucking, the, por- <laughs> por- the pork boys did that to you on the BFFs Who's podcast. The pork boys? <laughs> pork boys. The pork, pork boy. David Portney. David Portney, if you, if you want me back, I'll come on your show again. <laughs> I liked him. I thought he was cool. What they were so rude to. Anyway, you think? Thought, I don't yeah. know. I didn't get. I didn't get that vibe. I guess it's the same way people think you're exploitative. I think from the outside, maybe people see it differently. I don't know. No, he he is exploitative. He's rude, and he's an enemy of the show. No, that's D'Angelo. No, you like you have a condom on your head. <laughs> D'Angelo is a friend of the show. No, he's not. Here, let's go.